Good morning, everybody. Today I wanted to uh, share with you just a little bit about how I keep track of my designs. Uh, I probably go a little maybe over management on my design organization. Um, some people who would have, uh, maybe you have in brilliance and you have the thumbnailer and you can keep all your designs straight on your computer. Um, I do have in brilliance software, but I don't have the thumbnailer. And for the longest time before I got in brilliance, I always kept track of my designs just this way. And old habits are hard to break, and I've just kept on doing them the same way. And uh, I kind of like having a hard copy in my hands of things like color sheets and a full picture of the design maybe, so that, you know, maybe I want to just sit at the table with a cup of coffee and go through and pick out a project or something and uh, not have to use my computer or my iPad. So um, this is how I do it. So I bought a couple new designs from Urban Threads, and I'm, I'm trying to record this on my iPad, so it might be a little bit wiggly, but I'll try not to. Um, so I've logged in, see I'm in, and it knows it's me, and I'm going to go to my orders because I've already made my purchase, and so I'm gonna, it's going to take me to a list of orders that I've made from this website, and each website, as I've mentioned in a previous video, is a little bit different. So here's my order my last one. I bought two items and I'm going to take a look. And so here we go. Uh, these are the two designs I purchased and these are the sizes. This, these designs do not come in multiple sizes. I mean they do, but you have to buy each size separately. So this is the size I purchased for each of these designs. And even though there's only one size and one design in each uh, purchase, I'm, I'm still going to download them in zipped folders. Uh, zipped folders seem to really work good for me. I don't know why, but they do. And so watch uh, down here in this little area of my computer and I'll go ahead and download these two. There comes one, and just that fast it's done. And here comes the other one, and just that fast it's done. So now if I wanted to open them, I would just click on them, and I'm not going to be able to see the design unless I open it in my software. But I'll be able to, if you click on it, it'll ask you, well, what do you want to do? We don't have we don't have a, fi a system here, a program that will open this. Um, so it's, it's confused and it's warning me and telling me a few things. And so uh, I can't look at it unless I open it in my software. But there it is. And if I wanted to save this, I would go ahead and put a USB stick in my laptop, which would show up down here. And I just would drop and drag this to my USB stick. So now I have those on my computer and these are the file identification numbers. So if I lost these and I searched on my computer for painted lion, it would never come up. But if I put in UT uh, what is that? 21134 or UT21140. It would pull it right up and I could put it on my USB stick and take it right over, put it in my machine and stitch it out. So in order to stitch it out, I need to know what colors of thread. So we're going to go to a thread list and both of these have that. 
and sometimes they're called color sheets uh, but these are called thread lists so we'll just do one for the sake of time and so here's my thread list you can see all this on here and right here it says printer friendly PDF let's go to that so it'll pull that up and now I can go up here and I can just hit my printer and print it off and this two, says there's two pages which there is and so I print these off and it doesn't cost me very much in ink or paper and I'm used to this like, like just what I told you before I'm used to this system so here it is printed off and once I get it printed off I put my designs in these little uh, pockets clear pockets and they're designed they're made to go in a three ring binder here's a hole and here's a hole and um, so I have all these I printed them both off and so now I'm ready to put them in my files but before I do that after I have this printed off let's go back I will uh, go back to my let's see how do I oh here I'll go back here to my my download it'll let me do it well this doesn't want to let me do it hold on a minute there we go I'm going to store this in the cloud or in my OneDrive <clears throat> up in the cloud see there's a little cloud thing there and get it in a place where I know it's safe because what if I have dozens and dozens and dozens of designs on my computer and lightning strikes and it burns up my computer or I get a power surge or something goes wrong and I lose my laptop everything's gone and if I have it in the cloud or in Dropbox or some other online backup system then I can organize them in online in the cloud I can put folders and in Dropbox I can make folders and put them all in there and before long if something disastrous happened I would have all my files back so now I want to show you uh, what I do when I when I file these so we're gonna hustle over here to my workstation um, and here I have just a couple I have many many of these and I just put a couple up here I have three ring binders so on here I'll put what's in here and here's the one that we're gonna I'm gonna be showing you and see I had to purge this one it, it got so many designs in it that I had to move baby and quilting designs and northern northwestern uh, woods northwest woods I had to put them in a new so I moved them over here baby quilting designs and now I have quite a bit more room in this three ring binder that I can begin to fill up and my uh, designs on here they're just or my my labels they're just on a piece of paper that slid down in this pocket so I can change this all the time so what I usually do is I purchase tabs here's a tab let's look at it what is it flowers and garden that's probably where I'm going to put my butterfly. See, I'm, I'm going to probably just put my butterfly right down in this. I'll just put it in here. And since I don't have two hands, because one's holding my iPad, I'll, I'll do it later. I promise. But so here's, you know, flowers. Here's, um, and they're all, most all of them, some are not, but most all of these are in plastic sleeves, the pockets. And so let's see what else we have here. Let's see, we had, and we had that 
all listed, didn't we, on the outside of my three ring binder. Here's another tab. What's it? Kitchen fun. So here's pot holders. This is an in the hoop. And maybe tea towel or pot holder design. Uh, tablecloths. Sometimes I just put things on the corner of something. Um, there's a border design. Um, golly, just, you know, this, this, these are, this is a coaster. These are all things that I would put, this is a placemat, in my kitchen, kitchen designs. And I've got, here's sewing. I have on my USB stick several folders, and they're all labeled the same. But you can't put too many designs on your USB stick. It, it's your machine isn't going to like it. It'll it'll pull them up, but it'll take them a long time. Here's our prac our uh, little mug rug we did on on the group and on my blog. A scissors holder. Just you know, here's sugar skulls and um, you know you never know what you're going to be doing for people. Sometimes you'll get. If you have a little business, you'll you'll have people ask you for things, and you'll end up getting things you might not purchase if you were just doing it for yourself. But so anyway, there you have a way to organize all your files and designs. I hope this helps. Have a great day, everybody.